Um, I appreciate so much. You can send your father's contacts. I have a video clip. Someone videoed from afar. His friend confirmed that my brother did not die at the spot. His friend confirmed that he paraded my brother instead of them taking him to the hospital. His friend is a living witness. He confirmed that. He was pointing in hospitals they could have taken my brother to, and the policemen were shutting him up and beating him brutally and handcuffed him. And the manner they kept my brother, they dumped him as a common criminal, even if he's a criminal. And also, right now, the state CID are handling the case. Then we have a lawyer. And nothing. We have a lawyer assigned to us. We still need more hand. You know how the country is. When more persons are interfering, they just will come. I see no reason why someone would just take that man innocent boy. He's not with a gun, he's not with a knife. He did no crime. So I would like your father's contacts. I will send him the video clip. I will send him my brother's picture. I will give him the info. How DPO did not pick my call when I had the incident of the shooting and arrest. I believe it should be five minutes before they separating him. I called his line. My mom called his line. None of them could pick. Instead, what they know is they allowed him to die. DPO himself sent my brother to the mortuary without the family consent. My father went to the LLO police station. DPO, the police station people were denying that they don't even know anything about the shooting. They don't even know anything about the boy. They denied the whole thing. It was Ruben's mom that then called my father that his son just, her son just called her now that actually <laughs> Kibito is in this place. They shot him that he should come. My father had to turn back. After they sent him to you know, Kuro police station, my father had to come back. The DPO ordered his men not to allow my father inside. I forced myself inside the station. Help me a witness. I am not, I'm not denying any fact. I forced myself DPO refused to utter any one of them were denying the fact. This thing I'm telling you today, no policeman has told me what happened to my brother. The only thing DPO told me is that when I confronted him, that I should go to UPTH mortuary. That is where my brother is. The DPO, I went to the mortuary and confirmed it that the DPO himself dropped my brother there. Signify his name as Daniel Anambra, that he's 30 years old. A 20 years old brother, he died through accident. What cruelty? He wanted to dump my brother there so that he would just confirm him missing, not knowing that he's dead. So I need your father's confidence. Thank you.